Darren, obviously we've lost Jack Taylor this week. He's obviously going to be a massive loss for the team, for the club. But does a move of that size show just how good he has been, he is, and how much work he's put in over the past few seasons? And he's only going to get better, by the way. You know, so for a young man who's 21 years old, this season I've seen a maturity in his play. We know he's got great ability. He's got all attributes, in all fairness. You know, he's good in the air, he's quick, he's strong, he tackles, he handles the ball terrifically well. He's got a big range of passing, scores some wonderful goals. Um, and there was a little bit of maturity in his play this year as well. But I think from from right back to his academy days it's been highlighted that he was a special player and a lot of credits due to many people but Jack himself as much as anyone because you see lots of young boys with ability and potential some fulfil it some don't and Jack thankfully for his own sake and, and for our, our club he's, he's fulfilled his potential to get to League One but there's more potential in there I, I I would suggest that he's going to get better and better. He's gone to a terrific club that's going to help develop him as well. Um, a, a club with good history of signing young players, polishing them up even more and helping moving them on. So it will be an interesting watch over the next 18 months, two years, to see how he grows and how he settles in League One. But I personally, having worked closely with him, would expect him to go again in the near future. You came in... Here, only fairly recently when you look at the grand scheme of things what were your first memories of working alongside Jack you must have known you had a great player on your hands from the get go I I always warm towards the ones that handle the ball well it's just in me it's how obviously I I, I was a ball player myself so obviously I've always lent towards them all my favourite players growing up as a kid were the ones that can handle the ball and play the nice passes and whatever so you could see straight away that he was a special player. Um, and like I say, with the maturity side of it, I suppose you can use that word or you can use consistency. You know, there's a number of words that you can use. You know, you could see he could handle the ball and he could find passes and he knew how to protect the ball and he knew how to create and be clever. And the maturity or consistency, as we, we can call it as well, just meant that he's doing it more and more regular. And I think... You know, from day one, walked in under John, me and Junior as well, obviously identified two or three players that we thought were, were quite special that would, would have big futures in the game. And it's all about fulfilling your potential, like I say. And, and one thing that Jack's good at, like the others, Josh Walker, Efron, you know, Wes, they're good listeners as well. And you've got to be a good listener because they may not agree with everything that we've, we've said to them, but there might be enough points in there that have helped contribute to their maturity and them growing up a little bit and, and getting better and, and finding that consistency. So it was easy to see from day one that he was going to be a big player. Um, but like I say, the, the, the growth that he's shown in the last 18 months, two years since I've been here, has been terrific, but loads more in there. Of course, a move of that size isn't just down to the player and how hard they work. There's a massive team effort behind that in getting to a player of his calibre. Just how much credit can the staff here take for the move? Listen, it's a record sale, isn't it? So everyone's contributed right the way back to, I think he joined the club at 13. Um, one or two academy coaches that have worked with him in the past that I, I might not be familiar with but certainly in recent times Danny Sander, Lee Johnson can take huge credit for their contribution in his development Rossi Iams obviously gave him his debut so he identified the player he could be and then myself and Junior and obviously John when he was here as well you know we can all take that little bit of credit for his development but I think the biggest credit for me goes to the player. You've got to want to be hungry to be successful and be better. And Jack's shown that. Obviously, he's come through the academy here at Barnet. We've picked out a few stats based on this season on how the academy's got on. I mean, 139 appearances have been made from academy graduates alone this season. 33% of all first team appearances have been from players that have graduated through our academy. Just how important is that success for the club's long-term future? 
I think each time you get a situation like you've had with Jack Taylor, it, it encourages the next batch behind them that they see an opportunity to play first team football, get better, improve, listen, develop, and then they see a chance of, of moving on to higher up the pyramid. So by this sale, it should be encouraging the likes of Wes and Efron, young Ronnie Edwards, Oakham, you know, all these young boys, little Vassalou, um, should be whetting their appetite even more and, and basically saying to themselves, I want to be next out the door. I want to be the, I want to be the one that makes this step. So it's very encouraging for everyone. It's, a, it's, a, it's proved to be very healthy for the club financially as well. Um, but like I say, the, the, the knock-on effect it will have to the other academy boys and the other young pros we have here um, should be really inspiring to them as well. Now, the difficult one to answer, how, how do you go about replacing a player like Jack Taylor? Listen, it's difficult because you're talking about a player that's, from what I hear, is going to walk straight into a, into a starting eleven in the top six in League One. Mm. So to replace that type of quality is not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be straightforward. What we might need to do is find another young one that might take a year, mm. 18 months to, to grow into being the next Jack Taylor. But we've certainly got... We've certainly got talent here. We've certainly got ability here. We know we need to try to replace Jack. I understand that. But actually getting a like for like is going to be very difficult. But getting another midfielder that potentially can come in and impact what we're doing, mm. then, yeah, that's what, that's what we're trying to identify. But, you know, we're talking about Jack being a, a really special player and they, they can be difficult to replace. And just lastly, Jack's not the only player we've lost this week. Andre Bucard has left the club just how big of a loss is he going to be because he, he's a massive character around the dressing room and he's a, very popular amongst the boys see even someone like Andre you know for all the credit that staff over the years will take for Jack Taylor someone like Andre can mm. can take credit as well because I've worked with Andre for six seven years now and Jack is probably fifth or sixth midfielder that has played alongside Andre and managed to improve and get better and get a move and Andre is that type of influential guy he forces people to play he forces people to land on the ball whether they're being marked or in tight areas so Andre can take some credit for that as well because like I say I haven't worked with him I know I know the influence he has on people he's been a he's been a he's been a real good guy to work with on and off the pitch um this season's been a bit of a knock-on effect from last season where he picked up an injury and it's been a little bit stop-start. And, you know, it's it's difficult when you get to sort of mid-30s to to recover and start again and then you get another little niggle. So the decision was made that we'd cut ties and, and he'd move on. But, you know, I've got nothing but respect for the way Andre's conducted himself. I totally respect how he plays football. Um, I consider him a friend because he's how he's behaved in the time we've worked together and you know he, he'll be a loss as well albeit he's not played every minute of every game but the influence he can have on people around him is massive so he will be a loss but he goes with everyone's best wishes.